Hi, this is Dina with Digital Hotcakes, and I'm in ProShow Producer. I'm going to show you how to use our overlays and mask files. Now, they all work the same, so once you learn how to build one slide, you'll be able to use any of our overlays in the exact same manner. The most important thing to remember when using any of our digital hotcake files is that you copy them first off of the DVD onto your hard drive before bringing them into ProShow. So let's start building our slide by dropping our photo into the slide and we'll double click on the slide to open our slide options. And the next thing that we need to add to the slide is the animation itself. So let's choose add image or video and I'm going to be using the photo album open. This is on our Home Movie Essentials volume number three events. Now this is one of our widescreen files so there is one extra step that you need to do when using any of our digital hotcake widescreen files and that's over here under layer settings. The aspect is set to auto. You actually need to t set this to 16 by 9. And If you're watching over here you saw the animation change here. I'll put it back to auto. See how it's stretched a little bit? You actually need to tell ProShow that this is a widescreen file. And you'll need to do that, like I said, anytime you're using any of our widescreen files. If you're using the 4x3, it's not an issue. Now next we need to go under Video Settings. And we want to check this box, this slide time box that, that says Lock Slide Time to Video Length. Okay, and after we've done that, we need to add our mask. So let's add a masking layer, add image or video, and we'll go into our mask file and we'll bring in that photo album open mask. And once again, since this mask is also a widescreen file, we need to go over here under Aspect and set this to 16 by 9. And that's all there is to it. We'll take a look.